Hey guys, it's TJ from Impact Gamers and today I'm going to be showing you how to get the free addition to Click Team Fusion. Now before we begin, I'm just stating that this is a very basic tutorial for people who are new to Click Team and are wanting to know how to get it, how to install it and then the very basics of how it works. So this is not a tutorial on the full functions of Click Team Fusion itself. This is for beginners who want to know how to get the program up and running on their system. Um, and then I'll just show you round and show you where things are in the program. And then there will be other tutorials. Um, I will also be telling you that in the free edition, you cannot make more than three levels. If you make a fourth level, the application will lock. So you have to make one to three levels um, in your application on the free edition but it's more than enough to get to grasp with the program so it's still very worth getting and with that said let's begin so all I've done is open up my web browser and I've gone to clickteam.com and it's taken me to their home page now on their home page or if you go to our products um, which for some reason it jumped me straight to but it may it may send you to the home page you just want to go to our products and you want to click here where it says try free version now. Now it will take you to another page and it will say here that it is the free edition that we're looking at at the moment. And you just want to come here to where it says download free PC version. And as you can see I'm on Google Chrome so my downloads will appear here. If you're using Microsoft Edge, um, it will appear in your download folder, I believe. Uh, I don't use Microsoft Edge, so I don't think they have a bar here. So you would go to your downloads on your computer and you would just open it from there. But because mine's already here, I'm going to go to open. And this is how we start the installation of Click Team Fusion. So just give it a moment and a window will pop up mine just asked for permission and I clicked yes to grant permission um, you may need to be on the administrator account of your computer and um, this just enables you to install new software I think you still can install it on another um, profile on your computer as long as you have the administrator's password so make sure you're doing this with a parent or with the person who owns the computer unless this is your computer then you're fine so I'm going to select my language, press next, press next, press next again and then I just need to click here where it says agree, press next and I am going to have the examples um, and the libraries with it, press next again, press start. It is not a big program, it is not very resource heavy um, so you can install it on most computers even if you have a fairly basic laptop, this program will run so it, it's a very good program um, and especially you know if you're just getting into this kind of stuff so um, it's done already so the installation has been done I go to exit there and now I'm going to close this and it has appeared on my desktop so I'm just going to double click it now this appears and it's, it is handy to install the new version so I'm going to show you how to do that so a new version is available I'm going to say yes now you basically just have to reinstall it so you're following the same steps as what I've just shown you after this download patch goes through. And then it should ask me a few more questions. I'm going to grant permission again. I'm going to select the same things I did before, say I agree and start. And this is all I'm doing. I'm just pressing all the same stuff. Now I'm going to give it a minute because it just says please wait so I'm not going to click anything else. and there we go it is now installing all of the new things so there are some slight changes with the update but like I said in um, previous videos uh, most of the, some, the stuff is very similar and there's very little differences but in the newer tutorials it will be using the new updated version so now that I've done that I know I can click this now and we have the fully updated version of the free edition I'm going to full screen it Normally a help window appears, which it has, and you can keep it open if you want and just leave it in the background. Personally, I'm going to close it just because 
Um, I, I don't really need it, but if you feel you want to read up on stuff, keep it open. And this is Click Team Fusion. So I'm going to run through the very basics of Click Team now without showing you how to make a game. I'm just showing you the layout of the application itself. And now the application being Click Team Fusion. So first things I want to do is come up here to where it says new or I can go here where it says new. And I'm just going to press that. So I'm going to show you the three main editors that we use at Impact Gamers when we're instructing Click Team Fusion. So this is our first frame and a frame is a level in Click Team Fusion. So all I'm going to do is double click on it and it shows me now a different editor. Up here where my mouse is, you can see a storyboard editor, a frame editor and an event editor. I do not use the event editor list. I don't ever use it and it's just preference, but I find it much easier instructing using just these three. They will always be there. Um, you can manually move them, but when you first boot it up, they will be here. So always remember your free editors. Storyboard editor shows you your levels. The frame editor shows us our level. Now the white area is our game, is our actual level. Everything that we can see in the level. The grey area, things still exist if they're in the grey area in the level, but you won't see them. So this is the play area, as it's called, the white box. The grey area is outside the play area, so it's things that you won't see. Now the event editor is where you do all your coding. So I'm going to show you how one line of code and how it works just to show you the very basics. And the very basics are going to be that I go to insert a new object and I'm going to click on active. Press OK and place in your active. With the So you want a left click to place down an active. This is going to become our player object. And to make it that, I am going to go to movement over here in its properties. If you don't have this properties window, you need to right click and go down to properties and it will appear. So I'm going to click on movement where it says type and it, at the moment it's static so it won't move. I am going to give it movement and I am going to give it eight directions. So that means I can use my arrow keys on my keyboard and it's pre-coded. So it means once you do that, and then you go up here to run your frame. I can move it around using my arrow keys. There is one problem though. I can leave the level. So as the first line of code, I'm going to show you how to change that. So the way events work is that you have a condition. The condition has an action, which I will show you, which makes altogether an event and an event is a line of code. So condition would be for this player object, I want to see, I want to determine the position and I want to test the position and now this will appear and when I'm testing the position I'm telling the computer that if my object and I want to make sure I click all of these and that they're highlighted blue, I'm telling the computer if this object hits the edge of the play area or it's trying to leave the play area and I press OK it's now wrote it out so it says if this object leaves the play area because I've highlighted all sides I'm going to give it now an action which is a response to the condition so I'm going to right click so you have to right click in this part and I'm going to say movement and I want it to stop. And that's it, that is one line of code. So active, leaves play area, it's gonna stop when it tries to leave the play area. And that's all that means, that's all we've told the computer. So I'm gonna go back to my frame editor, and now I'm gonna run the frame, and I'm going to move it, and I cannot leave the play area now. So we know the code has worked and it will not leave the play area. Now this is a very simple line of code. Click Team will enable you to make more complicated games, more complicated rules, but this is just showing you the layout of the program. 
don't be scared to explore the program and mess around with it. And if you get things wrong, you know, it, trial and error is, is very good. So experiment with it. Um, if you are going to be doing online lessons with us, please use this tutorial so you feel more comfortable with the program so that when we start the online lessons, you're going to be more comfortable um, in taking part. But don't be scared to explore the program on your own, in your own time as well. So I'm, I'm going to say that that's all for, for now, for today. Um, so like I said, I'm TJ from Impact Gamers. You can um, comment with any questions if there is anything else you kind of really want to know. Um, but there will be further tutorials as well as on the channel there are already a stack of tutorials you can just dive into. So I hope this has been helpful. Uh, if you are going to be joining the online lessons through um, the um, COVID um, pandemic then or even after, then yeah, I hope this helps and I will see you soon. So for now, goodbye.